And for me, one of the most important core values is liberty. Specifically, I believe that one of the highest aims of Canadian political leadership is to protect and expand freedom for Canadians. I say this not just because the Canadian idea of liberty is important to me, which it is. It has motivated several of the significant policy changes I have brought forward as leader of my party. But it's important to all of us. Our shared commitment to, is the, to it is the very foundation of the amazing country that we have built together. And I also think it's time that liberals took back liberty. These conservatives, these conservatives pretend to talk a good game about freedom, but look at what they've done with it. They've fallen a long way from the era of Sir John A. Macdonald to the why do you hate freedom taunts of the recently departed Sun News Network. Their instincts are now to be suspicious of people who do not share their beliefs, to harden divisions with people whose views differ from their own. In my seven years in Parliament, I have heard the Conservative Prime Minister accuse two different leaders of the NDP of sympathizing with terrorists. The Conservative Party of Canada accused notable McGillian Irwin Kotler of anti-Semitism, and the former Public Safety Minister to declare, you're either with us or you're with the child pornographers. Yeah, for that particular effort, the Prime Minister eventually rewarded him with a judicial appointment. <laughs> this, my friends, is not your parents' Conservative Party. Their approach to politics might work in the short term, but it is corrosive over time, especially in a diverse country like Canada. It stokes anxiety and foments fear. Instead of encouraging Canadians to fight for one another's liberty, it tells us to be suspicious of each other's choices. Mr. Harper and I disagree fundamentally about a great many things, but none perhaps more so than this. Leading this country should mean you bring Canadians together. You do not divide them against one another. Fear is a dangerous thing. Once it is sanctioned by the state, there is no telling where it might lead. It is always a short path to walk from being suspicious of our fellow citizens to taking actions to restrict their liberty. And that, to borrow a phrase, is not the way we do things around here, not in Canada. God help me if my vision in this regard is clouded by my own presumption. But I see an actor, not a real boy.